It's been going on for about 12 years now since Destiny started school. I've been saying I'm going to retire and I kept holding on thinking I'll get to teach Destiny in her freshman year she was in my class and then I decided it was time for me to begin to think about retiring. I decided Destiny's senior year would be my senior year. She <laughs> has been the joy of our lives, my husband and I both absolutely adore her. One of the most special things, there's so many wonderful things about her, but I think the thing I love most is Destiny does not know what it means to not care for people. One time we were at a Ronald McDonald's house and a little baby was there that was burned so badly and honestly I didn't want to touch her. I was even having a hard time looking at her. And the next thing I know, Destiny's over there with her mother and she's asked her if she can hold her and the mother started crying. And I thought, oh no. And Destiny was trying to apologize to the mother and she said, no, no one wants to even look at my child, much less hold them. And so for me, that's one of the most special things. Destiny's always been really special to her and all of her grandkids and all of her family is special, but Destiny and her have really had a special bond just because she's been around so much for her growing up. And so I think it's very fitting that they're gonna graduate together. I get to see um, Destiny and Ms. Caldwell at school, and then I get to see them in like studio performances with the dance studio, and then I also get to see them just on a friendship level, and they um, have a very close relationship. Uh, it's cool to see that it's been their last senior year together. You get so attached to these girls their freshman year, you kind of know them, but by their senior year, you feel very comfortable with them, you, you love these girls, and then they move on and go off to college. And it's always like you always think, okay, I'll never be as close to the other girls as I am this year. And it's always hard to see them go. Um, I remember earlier in the year, it was uh, football season, and it was time for the per first pep rally. And I saw Destiny, and she was like, it's the first pep rally, but you know, I'm kind of sad because it's my last first pep rally. And I think that that's a neat idea because when I was talking to Ms. Caldwell, she said, this year is special because it's going to be the last of the first. And she said, yeah, it's our last first pep rally. When I go to my first debate meet, it'll be the last debate meet. And so I just thought that was a really interesting way to put things, the last of the firsts, because it's not so much a finality, it's the last pep rally, it's the last first pep rally of the year. Because one of the things that's special about both Destiny and Mrs. Caldwell is they have this joy. And this joy that comes from them, it permeates everything and everyone around them. As a small child, five years old, I would take the children that were younger than me and I would put them under a tree and I would be their teacher. And I thought that had to be the most <laughs> wonderful thing in the world, to watch them looking at me like, oh, she's teaching us. <laughs> I think what makes Miss Cole the most memorable is that she has this, I really feel like it's an uncanny ability to make everything and everyone feel special. It doesn't matter what kind of day she's having or what class is coming up next or what deadline is approaching, she always has a positive smile, um, a loving heart, is genuinely excited to see anybody that comes her way and always looks for an opportunity to um, be a godly influence on them. She's a dynamic leader, but she cares so much and she just exudes that. I'm going to be honest with you, getting to be a teacher and getting to watch those that you've worked with really do well is even more exciting than actually getting to do it yourself. I know that from all these years, how excited I get when I watch you take a concept and get it. Okay, let's talk. You know, I have been so amazed at the way people keep saying I've had an impact, but I believe every teacher has an impact. We impact different children differently. I have been so blessed over the years to have the most wonderful students that have become a part of my family. 
so if I've had an impact, I hope it has been that just people will say she not only taught us class matter, but she taught us how to live as people and to be better people. That's the impact I hope I've had. I believe that my grandma helps everybody every day without her even knowing it. Um, <laughs> It's very emotional because she's been there for me since I was little. She's always been a big part of my life. Um, I can't imagine a day going by where she doesn't help me, whether it's sending me a text message and saying I'm proud of you, you know, when she doesn't know that I need it, but I do. Not just helping me, but I believe that she helps everybody and she touches everybody she comes in counter with. <laughs> <laughs> every single phase, every last, whether it was the last pep rally to the beginning of the year, every single last has been so exciting and so much fun for us. And it's been a joy for me to get to share it with someone I love so much.